So I'm about to do my first IKVM session under HTML5 with potentially ISO mounting. So what we're talking about here is IPMI 3.46 came out for Xeon D 1500 series super micro super servers uh, this weekend apparently. It's now November 3rd, 2016. And I don't have release notes yet. I might. But I have played with previous versions, 3.26 it was called, but now with 3.46, hopefully ISO mounting has showed up. So I figure why not record while I try it for the very first time. So notice no Java prompts, just pops up a second window. Second window. Winder? <laughs> All right. That worked. We can resize it a bit, make it a little more sensible, sensibly sized. Now, let me see if I can get rid of the scroll bar. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so far this is going pretty well, but the moment of truth. Looking through the menus. Okay, none of that's changed. Darn. Uh, macro, not Mar Marco, but anyhow, uh, let's see. ISO mounting. Hmm. So even the help page doesn't include anything about ISO mounting. Not a good sign. Well, macro is mistyped right there as well. That's this particular screen. I'm not really seeing anything um, about the image quality changing there. I'm um, actually having a little trouble with mouse. Now let's see if the basics work, like a power reset. And bias screen. So that seems to be all right. Uh, next I'll try keyboard capture. Does hitting the delete key to get into the bias work? I'll try that next. So the window has focus. It's going to take about a full minute to boot, so we can peek at some other set settings while we wait. Let's see how it's things are looking under hotkey settings. So they moved them out of the way, so they're no longer in the way of VMware by default. Uh, F11, F12, F2, all those important keys. Well, you're not likely to hit Control Shift at the same time, so that's kind of awesome. So it's a step in the right direction. But that was true in the previous 3.26 version of IPMI. So yeah, I'll admit I'm pretty disappointed I'm not seeing medium mounting. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but it's just not here yet. Okay, hit the delete key. And unfortunately, it acted as if I didn't. So back in 3.26, I ran into this occasionally, um, which is really intended for other similar systems. It wasn't actually out for this particular system. This is a SYS. Uh, E200-8D system has the Xeon D1528 CPU in there. So, not sure if these quirks I'm seeing are particular to this system, but I believe I had them on other systems like the SYS5028D-TN4T back when I tried IPMI 3.26 over there. So, I'll reserve judgment on how 346 is going to behave on multiple systems, but I think it's highly likely it's going to behave exactly the same way. So could it be, you know, an ad blocker or some extension in Chrome? Uh, it's something to consider. I've hit delete key numerous times now. You can hear me probably jamming on it. Completely ignored me. All right. Now we could start incognito mode for a Chrome browser. That's not really enough though, because you can actually have plugins like ad blockers and so forth load in incognito mode. So I'm just going to jump over to Firefox and see if HTML5 seems to be functioning any 
differently over there. Okay, looks like I hadn't used Firefox in a little while, so it takes a while to start. All right, paste that host name in for my pasteboard management controller. And soon we should be authenticated through Firefox and see if we do any better with HTML5 there. Not doing well at all. Is it encrypted? Let me try without the S. Hmm. Okay, so everything's still working over here just fine. And I do have the right URL there, but boy, it is not working. Let me just make sure there's web connectivity for it. There is. Okay, don't know what's going on there. How about Edge Browser? Which, if you have Windows 10, it's a pretty sure bet that everyone will have. Have this. Oh, come on. All right. We're back. Head right over to IKVM HTML5 and we'll see how we do. Now just to reduce confusion a little, I'm going to close Firefox since that didn't work out so well. And we minimize Chrome also. So now we're over in Firefox where things do seem to be working. But sorry, forgive me. Microsoft Edge browser where things do seem to be working fairly well. And about to try to see if I've got my keyboard back. Okay, so setup worked over there in Internet, sorry, in Edge browser. And the uh, quality looks excellent. Huh, quality still looks excellent. Okay, that seems to hint that maybe uh, the bandwidth tuning is not doing anything. So let me try that again. Options, preferences. So we have a steady state of about 32 kilobits per second. Crank this up to high. Doesn't seem like that number is changing. That's because I'm in the wrong 
Hmm. Well, so video stream image quality seems pretty clear. Flow control, different thing, but let's see if boosting that made any difference. No. Now, that might only be if you're trying to do mounting remote media or something, but as I already mentioned, uh, there is no ISO mounting in the HTML5 interface as of now. I guess that's it for this video. I documented uh, some quirks, but uh, hopefully it's helpful that I documented them and uh, hopefully get these resolved. Thanks for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.